Hi everybody, uh, this is Corey here from New World Witchery. You probably know that. If you're already on this channel, that makes sense. Um, just doing a quick update this time around, uh, trying to get some, some information out there to everybody about this channel, kind of what to expect from this channel uh, at this point, kind of going forward, as well as uh, some various announcements and things like that. Uh, just some, some business housekeeping, things like that, but there's some fun stuff in there too. I uh, also want to talk a little bit about uh, a little challenge that was put out there uh, by a fellow YouTuber, a fellow witchy YouTuber that I would like to uh, answer and respond to. I think it'd be kind of fun to talk about. Um, so before I get to any of that, I do want to say thank you so much to all of our recent contest participants. Well, we did a contest where um, several people uh, submitted uh, survey responses for uh, a survey having to do with uh, campfire ghost stories and things like that, which turned into our All Hallows Read this year. Uh, and I really appreciate uh, the folks that sent something in that way. Um, we were able to put together uh, a few episodes for wide release uh, and then an extra, there's an extra story floating around. If you're one of our Patreon supporters, you can check that out too. And you get all of them uh, as one single batch of stories in that uh, Patreon version of it too. So uh, if you like getting all of your stories together at once, it's a good way to do that. Uh, the shameless self-promotion, I suppose, but that's, uh, that's, we just wanted to say thank you for that. Uh, we also had a survey going on that's in um, the campfire one is closed, but uh, the other one is still open. Um, there's no more entries for the contest related to it, but uh, if you want to, you can still submit to the other uh, other um, survey we've got going on. That survey is all about uh, uh, sort of spooky games that you played at sleepovers as a kid, uh, or maybe you still play them. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't know your life. Um, but uh, whatever it is, uh, things like, you know, did you play with Ouija boards? Did you play uh, Bloody Mary? Did you play uh, Light as a Feather, Stiff as a Board? Um, did you play... Um, uh, uh, you know, palm reading or anything like that. Um, or maybe even some of the newer games. Maybe you've tried the Three Kings right or, or things like that. Um, and if you have, uh, I'd really love to hear about your experiences doing, uh, doing those games. So uh, doing some research on that for a project. And uh, so if you're interested in that, you want to share your experiences with that, please feel free to, to do so. You can still submit that. And again, huge thanks to those who did submit uh, while we had the contest open. That was really, really awesome. Um, got a lot of submissions for that between uh, the people who support us on Patreon, who automatically got an entry into that contest, and all the submissions we got. Um, we got well over 200 uh, responses for that. So um, thank you. It was amazing. Uh, and I should also uh, tell you uh, who won. I'm sending out an email to everybody who won. The prizes were uh, a group of books. Uh, we had a whole stack of books, uh, everything from um, Chris Orpello and Tara Love McGuire's Bees and Stang and Sword uh, to a couple copies of My 54 Devils. Um, we had uh, Making Magic by Bree Saucy. Uh, just a whole a whole stack of them. Uh, just things that I've sort of accumulated and ready to send out into the world. Uh, and so um, had uh, 10 winners that we uh, are going to be sending these books out to. Uh, so congratulations to our winners. Brittany, Stevie, AF, Jennifer, Heidi, Tyler, Bobby, Kat, Mara, Wolf, Jen, and Conjured Cardea. Uh, so huge thanks to all of you, um, either for being our supporters on Patreon uh, or for uh, sending in your submission to the, the contest by filling out the surveys and things like that. Huge, huge appreciation for that. So congratulations to all of you. Uh, so that brings me to kind of the other two things that I wanted to do in this video. Uh, one, uh, recently, uh, Athena Beth, uh, who some of you may know, if you, if you watch this channel, you probably watch Athena Beth's channel. If you don't, you should. Um, I'm going to get, get, get into that in a second. Uh, she had a fun discussion about kind of witchy YouTubers that she watches. Who are the witchy YouTubers that she watches? And she mentioned, uh, she mentioned, she mentions us a lot, which I'm really flattered by. I think that's really sweet. Um, I, I adore you, Athena Beth, and it, you know, I've, I've actually gotten to meet you, which is kind of awesome. Um, but, uh, but she was saying like, she really enjoys listening to our podcast. Um, and, uh, then she sort of ta started talking about some of the channels that she watches on YouTube, um, that have witchy or witchy adjacent content. And so I was thinking it might be worth sort of mentioning, uh, you know, I do spend actually quite a bit of time on YouTube, um, partly for research purposes. There's actually some, some fun research stuff I do with that, um, having to do with those, those, uh, those, uh, sleepover party games. And then 
uh, the other thing is, you know, my kids are, you know, the age where they're watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I have to kind of monitor their content and stuff like that within reason. Uh, and so I wind up watching a lot of the same stuff they do. And sometimes that stuff has some interesting witchy overlap. So uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the channels that I really enjoy and why I really enjoy those channels. Um, and, and maybe, you know, encourage you to go visit those channels as well. Uh, and then see, you know, if any of the, if any of those channels want to talk about some of their favorite uh, witchy content out there in the, in the, the video universe. Um, so first of all, obviously, Athena Beth. Uh, Athena Beth has a really, really lovely channel. She does all kinds of uh, fun stuff on there, ranging from um, talking about kind of her her sort of personal life and the, the things that she does in her daily life, um, her altar set up and things that she's sort of put together in her home, her witchy practice. Um, and then, all, you know, she does shopping trips. Like I think she's done a shopping trip to, a, to Trader Joe's and sort of taken us along with her uh, and to Michael's as well. She'll show us kind of what's going on in her 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 witchy world, so to speak. And she's really personable, really warm, really interesting. Um, and she points you in the direction of a lot of really uh, good resources as well. That's kind of one of the, the great things about her. She is sort of a crossroads uh, where you can you, you can enjoy her content and then she leads you to the next content that would be uh, worth your time. So I really appreciate that. Um, uh, some other channels I really, really like, uh, Benabel Wen, uh, who, he, she may, uh, she may be posting mostly under the bell chimes in, might be how you have to kind of search for on YouTube, but, but if you look for Benabel Wen, uh, or if you look at the links that we're going to have down below, um, <clears throat> you can find her channel, and she is, she's a remarkable, uh, teacher and resource. She, uh, wrote uh, a book on food, talismanic magic. She's designed and uh, been redesigning her own tarot system called the Spirit uh, Spirit Keepers Tarot. Um, she's very knowledgeable about Western esotericism, uh, deeply, deeply knowledgeable about tarot, uh, also incredibly knowledgeable about uh, Taoist folk magic and folk sorcery. We've actually had her on the show to talk about several of those things before. Um, and her channel is just packed full of good information. She's very, very uh, interesting to watch. She she gives you great information. Right now, she's been kind of taking us through the redesign of her tarot, um, and she's doing new art. And it's it's amazing the level of research she puts into it. Like she'll research the cloth that she's uh, designing for a character on her tarot cards to make sure that it is historically and culturally accurate to that character. And I just I'm. I'm over the moon for, for what she does. So highly recommend uh, Benabel Wen. Also uh, recommend uh, Chuang Ku, who does the Witches in Wine YouTube channel. Um, we've, uh, I was going to say, we've had her on the show. We actually have her coming up on a show uh, at some point in the near future. The interview's done. I just, it has to be released. Um, but she is also incredibly knowledgeable, particularly about um, sort of uh, Western occultism, um, and she's also very knowledgeable about uh, uh, Korean shamanism and some and some other uh, directions as well. But her depth of knowledge is profound. She's very, very um, wise and, and brings a lot to the table. And the other kind of cool thing is she's really, really bright and, and, and brilliant. Um, and she also finds really bright and brilliant people to talk to on her channel. So I highly, highly recommend her. Um, she you know, has had people like Jason Miller on the, the channel a couple of times to talk about these different esoteric traditions and practices. So um, highly recommend her. Definitely go check her out, Witches and Wine YouTube channel. Um, some other channels I like, there's a channel called Faces of the Faceless. Um, this is uh, a couple of gals who, uh, uh, they just kind of recently started their YouTube channel, but it's it's fun so far. What's kind of cool about them is it's like sitting down to have coffee or tea. They sort of set it up so that it's almost like you're across the table from them as they talk about various um, aspects of their witchy lives and their witchy practices. And so it's kind of neat. It's it's really, it's like a conversation, um, which is, it's different. It's a different format uh, than, than I think a lot of channels are because uh, I think a lot of channels, it's kind of like this, it's me talking to you. Or it's an interview with another half of the person on the screen, like Witches and Wine. Um, but their channel is really neat because they're talking to each other, but they're also kind of talking to you. So it's a very inviting channel. Definitely uh, check that out. Uh, Via Hedero. Lo love Via Hedero. She is fantastic. Definitely check out her channel. Um, there's not, you know, a ton of, um, you know, this kind of talking to you content. Actually, what she's really, really good at is, is showing you her practice her magical practice. And when I say magical practice, this isn't just, you know, her lighting a candle with a couple of crystals around it or something like that. What she does is 
remarkably good folk magic. Um, she, she's very rooted in um, the study of folk magic and the practice of folk magic. F phenomenal respect for her. Um, she's got a book coming out that uh, is absolutely, you know, uh, you know, I've got a book coming out on North American folk magic, but I would also say like her, hers is kind of an essential read on North American folk magic. You really should check it out. Um, and, uh, and my publisher may not like me saying you should, you should get her a book. And maybe also my book, but definitely her book. Um, uh, get both of her books. Why not? Um, but uh, but her her grasp of the folk magic is really good. And she'll do things like literally go to the river and sift clay from the riverbed to then make clay poppet dolls. And she shows you how she's doing all of this. It's remarkable stuff. She's really, really good at what she does. So um, check her out via Hedera. Uh, Thorn Mooney's channel is uh, another good one. What's really good about hers, she's very obviously Wiccan oriented. Um, if you know her, she's a, a deeply knowledgeable Gardnerian uh, Wiccan practitioner. Um, but she's also really good at looking at kind of uh, modern occult history. And, and that's kind of a cool thing that she's bringing in there. She's not trying to, you know, Wicca wash anything. She's not trying to um, obscure any information. She's very forthright, very direct about kind of contemporary issues and uh, the, the issues surrounding the history of Wicca, um, particularly in North America, but she gets into, into other aspects in other places as well. So um, very, very thoughtful discussions that she has there. Lilith Dorsey's, Dorsey's channel, I, I cannot recommend uh, enough. Uh, she's great. Uh, we've had her on the show, uh, I think a couple of times now. Uh, she talks a lot about kind of her African traditional religious background and roots and things like that, as well as kind of her contemporary practice. She writes about all kinds of magical practices, so she's fantastic. Highly recommend her. Um, definitely go check her out as well. Um, and then Chris Oropello, uh, Chris Oropello and Terry Love McGuire uh, also have a channel. Uh, it's mostly Chris, I think, at this point on the actual channel. Um, and, and I'll say uh, I love their channel. It's really great. They've done things like showing you how to make a scrying mirror. They don't post all that often, and I know I'm saying that. We barely ever post on this channel, it seems like. Um, but... Um, it, they were doing really, uh, they were doing fairly regular to post for a while, and then I think they have it for for a couple of months. And now I'm like, oh, I really, I want more from them. So this is this is maybe my like, hey Chris, hey Tara, would love to see more from you. Um, sort of a, a gentle wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Love to love to have more on your your uh, channel content. Um, so those are kind of the ones that are sort of openly directly witchy uh, YouTube channels that I watch quite a bit. I also want to mention a couple that are less directly uh witchy uh just because i think they're the ones that may be of interest to you uh, and these are the ones that i bump into through interacting uh with my kids channels and stuff like that one is christine mcconnell um she had this uh this youtube or no sorry uh, netflix series for uh, uh one season which basically combined these kind of roadkill style muppets from the the muppet uh studio uh, the jim henson's muppet shop and her sort of savvy for making really interesting, slightly macabre crafts. So she'll do, uh, like she'll reupholster a couch and it'll look like something that should be in the background of, you know, a really good uh, vampire film because of the way it's designed. Um, or she, one thing she did was she made an entire gingerbread house for the Winchester Mansion, which is this really famous haunted mansion. Um, remarkable work that she does. Really detailed, very, very interesting. She has this kind of mid-century slash slightly Victorian Edwardian feel to, to her her sort of uh, look and aesthetic but there's a, a, a sort of soft macabre feel to what she does and there's little bits of witchy stuff that seem to sort of play at the edges of that and I dig that. Um, I'd also recommend a couple of YouTube animators and I know this is going to be weird um, but one of the things that I watch a lot of with my kids are these YouTube animators. I love animation. I've always loved animation. Um, and these animators on YouTube put together some really great videos. Um, and I have a lot that I, I enjoy. But there's two that I really want to recommend because they actually have some videos that have just little bits of sort of witchy stuff in them that I think I think our listeners would really enjoy. Um, one is Illymation. Um, it's, uh, it, we'll put a link in the show notes, but um, Illy and Illymation does these, they're just kind of her life videos. And she's done videos that dealt with, deal with all kinds of things. Like um, she had a, an abusive relationship she got out of. So she talks about that. She's talked about like school lunches growing up. So some of them are, you know, very typical everyday stuff. But she also has some interesting videos floating around out there about things like 
um, she went and got a tarot reading, right? And she actually knows tarot. She does tarot herself, but she, when she wants to get a reading, she goes to someone else. And so she talked about this experience. She sort of frames it as, you know, this is a, an interesting therapeutic psychological tool uh, in her case, but there's also some elements of like, she, she definitely has a, a feeling like the tarot has some significance for her. Um, and her discussions of it are thoughtful. They're, they're thoughtful and, and, and interesting. Um, and so I, I really recommend it. It's just something that's kind of fun to watch and it, it sort of destigmatizes some of that. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, the other person I really enjoy is Let Me Explain Studios. This is Rebecca Parham's channel. Uh, Parham is, uh, she, she's a professional animator. She has her own studio um, and she has largely done kind of, you know, sh short commercial work, but she did this own, her own sort of YouTube channel on the side. And it's sort of blown up on her. Um, she's really good. She's a really good animator. Um, but then on the other aspect of that, she's also kind of got this interest in the sort of witchy side of things. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say like her stuff is witchy, except for she has one episode where she talks about how slumber party games are uh, witch meetings, right? So when you have a slumber party, it's essentially a coven meeting. Um, and it's a great, it's a great video. She breaks it down and really explains like why each thing has this sort of witchy feel to it. And she talks about the fact that she, you know, she wants to be a ghost story is kind of what she says. And she wants to be the witch of the woods. And, and she's even, uh, her recent videos have sort of leaned into that a little bit. Um, so I really dig that. I think that's kind of cool. I think she's she's kind of uh, an interesting person to sort of follow and see how she weaves in some of this stuff. I and mean, it's not heavy handed. It's not, um, every video is not that. It's just little bits here and there, but it's something that can be a lot of fun to, again, kind of destigmatize some of this stuff. Um, and also, you know, enjoy with, if you have kids, uh, it's great. If you don't, cartoons are great for everybody. Everybody, um, we're, we're in a kind of a golden age of cartoons at the moment. So you should be checking, checking out more cartoons is all I'm saying. But these are some channels I really, really like. Um, I'd also, the one, the one other channel I'll throw out there, and this is not one that updates anymore, um, but it, it's a fantastic repository of information, and that's Peter Padden's old Crooked Path channel. Um, I don't know how long they'll keep that up. I don't know how long they'll, they'll maintain that. But for right now, it's got most of the episodes of Crooked Path, his old podcast on there. Um, it's got a lot of videos that he recorded um, related to topics from there. Some, some of his workshop material is on there. It's... It's an amazing resource if you're into um, traditional witchcraft of any kind, particularly uh, traditional witchcraft with kind of a witchy uh, British bent. Um, he, he's a good resource, and, and we miss him a lot um, in our community, I think. Um, so I do, at least. So it's it's a great resource to have. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, so those are kind of the YouTube channels I recommend. Um, if any of you happen to be watching from those channels and you want to uh, throw your favorite kind of witchy YouTube channels out there, I'd love to hear what they are. Uh, feel free to tag us back so that we know that you've done that. Um, and I'd love to you know watch and see what you recommend as well. Um, okay, so that's kind of it for for that part of the video. The last thing I wanted to do was just give you a couple of really quick updates on the channel as a whole and, uh, you know, what is this YouTube, YouTube channel supposed to be? Because it's kind of a hodgepodge of stuff right now, um, which is fine in, in for, for me, um, but it may not be for you, and I want to make sure that you know what you're getting into here. Um, so I'll say uh, we try to upload a couple of different things here. Uh, one... Um, these kind of personal one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversational videos where we, you know, do announcements or updates, maybe do a uh, little kind of in-person chats and things like that, um, because I think that those are uh, useful and people enjoy them, so uh, I, I like doing those. Um, I don't do uh, as many of those as uh, I think a lot of other channels do, but I'm happy to do more if that's what people like. Um, We've also got some, uh, we've got one video on sort of the, the story behind the story of the sea witch in The Little Mermaid. Um, and I've, I've thought about kind of expanding that and doing more and more with uh, videos like that. So uh, maybe doing some, some fairy tale folklore-esque sort of stuff um, in that vein. Uh, we may have some more stuff like that on the channel coming up. Uh, we definitely will have more of those everyday magic videos. So if you like those little short videos that sort of walk you through a few different aspects of folk magic uh, from North American folklore. Uh, we've done, I think, coins, eggs, apples, some things like that. So uh, brooms is out there as well. We'll keep putting those out there. Those are uh, just kind of a good way to, to get a quick bite of magic, a uh, bite of that magic apple, you know, so to speak. Um, 
uh, just uh, little short short clips and stuff like that. Um, so we'll be doing that. We also try to put up our old episodes. Those are, um, you know, infrequent, but, you know, basically I'm trying to get it so that um, I know that not all podcatchers are able to have all of our episodes listed on there. It only goes back like 100 episodes or so for a lot of them. Um, so I'm trying to update it so we can get some of these older episodes here. So if you want to come and watch those, or you, there won't be any video for them other than just kind of uh, a screen telling you which episode it is, but you can listen to it through YouTube if you want. So I'll keep trying to upload those uh, over time as well. Um, so those are kind of the videos that I'm looking at uh, and looking at having on this channel. I, I would like to know, you know, what is it that you would like to see on this channel? So um, if you have suggestions for things that you'd like for me to be putting up on this channel, uh, let me know. Uh, you know, I'm happy to do all kinds of things on this channel. I'm not going to do anything too crazy, I don't think. I don't know. Not try me. Who knows? Who, kn who knows where we'll go with this? Um, but if you, you know, want to see, uh, you know, more practical hands-on stuff, uh, give me suggestions for that. Or if you uh, uh, want to see uh, more fairy tale folklore stuff on here, I'm happy to kind of work in that direction as well. Just let me know kind of what you're interested in. Leave a comment. Um, while we're at it, you know, it would be great if you would, you know, like or subscribe. If we get enough people liking and subscribing, it definitely encourages me to, to do more with this channel. So please do feel free to, to, to do that here. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of it for, for this one. Uh, I know it's a little longer than some of my other ones, but, uh, hopefully covered a lot of ground here. Uh, hopefully pointed you in the direction of a few interesting YouTube channels you can check out. And, uh, again, congratulations to all of our, uh, winners for the contest. And thank you so much, uh, for sticking with us and, uh, hope to see you more in the future. <laughs>